Hello, my friends. It is so good to be talking with you again. I have been missing you and wondering what kind of adventures have you been having? They don't have to be big adventures, though some of you might have had some pretty big adventures. They could be small adventures, too. I've had some adventures, let's see, building a hen house for those chickens that we raised um, in the spring, remember? We hatched them from eggs. Well, they're big now. And so we've been building the hen house and it's almost finished. I'll send you some pictures of that soon. And what other adventures have I had? I have had adventures seeing deer on the property. Just all kinds of adventures, big and small. And I thought we might go ahead and read a story. We've read it before, but we really liked it, and it's a good time to read it again. A story about a boy who had some adventures. The boy's name was Flat Stanley. Do you remember Flat Stanley? He had some amazing adventures, didn't he? We're going to read his story. And I've also sent in the mail a picture for you to color. If you were with us last year, we colored a picture and we named that picture Flap Larry. Larry is short for Lawrence. He's our Flat Saint Lawrence. And we took him on our adventures last summer and I thought it might be fun to color a new one and take him on our adventures this summer. Of course, for Flat Larry to go out with us in public these days, He's going to have to be careful for the next few weeks or so and wear a mask to make sure he doesn't spread his germs on anyone else. So here's my flat Larry. He's got a mask on and he's got his priest's outfit on. Remember St. Lawrence was a deacon in the church and the deacon sometimes wears the outfit like this, the garments or they're called vestments like this. And what's he got in his hands, friend? Yes. He has the Bible in his hand, the Word of God, and he can still pronounce the Word of God even with his safety mask on. This one reminds me of someone that we know. Does it remind you of anyone that you know? We we'll might talk about that again later on. I'd like to hear what you have to say before I tell you who he reminds me of. So watch for my flat Larry. I'll post a picture on Facebook of something that Flat Larry is doing with me, some adventures that he's having, and then you can post a picture of what your Flat Larry that you have colored, however you want to color him, what he's doing with you this summer. And we can share with each other that way and see kind of what's going on in our lives. But to help you remember the adventures of Stanley when he became flat, I'm also going to read to you a book, Flat Stanley, The Original Adventures. It's by Jeff Brown, and it's in chapters. Let me show you. First, let's take a look at the title page. Remember our title page? What does it have on it? That's right. It has the title and the author. So this book has a page that almost fools you and looks like the title page, but look, it says Flat Stanley, his original adventure, but it doesn't say who's the author and who's the illustrator. So that's not really our title page. This one is Flat Stanley, his original adventure by Jeff Brown, there's our author, pictures by Mackie Pimenton. That's our illustrator. And what I'd like for you to see is this book has chapters. We've read maybe just one or two chapter books before, but Flat Stanley is our favorite by far. There are one, two, three, four, five chapters in this book about Flat Stanley. And we're going to read them one chapter per video. So we'll start with chapter one, and it's entitled, The Big Bulletin Board. And it starts on page one. So let's take a look. Ooh, the first thing we see is a photo. Since the book is about someone named Stanley, who becomes flat, 
Who do you think this is right here? It might be Stanley. Does he look flat yet? No, but take a look at his face. How do you think Stanley's feeling? I don't think he's feeling happy. Let's read and find out. Breakfast was ready. I will go wake up the boys, Mrs. Lambchop said to her husband, George Lambchop. Just then, their younger son, Arthur, called from the bedroom he shared with his brother, Stanley. Hey, come and look, hey. So it turns out this isn't Stanley, this is Arthur. And he's calling from the door of the bedroom, hey, come and look, and he looks a little bit upset. Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop were both very much in favor of politeness and careful speech. Hay is for horses, Arthur, not people, Mr. Lambchop said as they entered the bedroom. Try to remember that. Excuse me, Arthur said, but look! He pointed to Stanley's bed. Across it lay the enormous bulletin board that Mr. Lambchop had given the boys a Christmas ago so that they could pin up pictures and messages and maps. It had fallen during the night right on top of Stanley. But Stanley was not hurt. In fact, he would still have been sleeping if he had not been woken by his brother's shout. Take a look. Hmm, do you notice anything interesting about Stanley on the bed here? He doesn't look quite like you or I, does he? What's going on here? Stanley called out cheerfully from beneath the enormous board. Mr. and Mrs. Lambchop hurried to lift it from the bed. <gasps> Heavens, said Mrs. Lambchop. Gosh, said Arthur, Stanley's flat. Mm -mm. Hmm, flat as a pancake, said Mr. Lambchop. Strangest thing I've ever seen. Let's all have breakfast, Mrs. Lambchop said. Then Stanley and I will go see Dr. Dan and hear what he has to say. In his office, there's Dr. Dan. Stanley certainly looks pretty flat. Hmm. The doctor is thinking. You can tell because his eyebrows are close to his eyes and his hand is up like this. Hmm. He's thinking hard. Let's hear what he's thinking. In his office, Dr. Dan examined Stanley all over. How do you feel? He asked. Does it hurt very much? I felt sort of tickly for a while after I got up, Stanley Lambchop said, but I feel fine now. Well, hmm, that's mostly how it is with these cases, said Dr. Dan. We'll just have to keep an eye on this young fellow, he said when he had finished the examination. Sometimes we doctors, despite all our years of training and experience, can only marvel at how little we really know. Mrs. Lambchop said she thought Stanley's clothes would have to be altered by the tailor now. So Dr. Dan told his nurse to take Stanley's measurements. See, remember when we used our rulers and we measured things in the classroom? This nurse is measuring flat Stanley. Mrs. Lambchop wrote the measurements down. This is what they were. Stanley was about four feet tall about a foot wide and only half an inch thick. Yikes! And that's the end of chapter one, the beginning of Stanley's adventures. His first adventure was when the bulletin board fell on him and he became what? Flat. Flat. What do you think flat starts with? What lettered sound do you hear? Flat. I hear a couple of sounds there. Do you hear F? F. And at the end, t, t, flat, flat. Stanley was flat. 
His next adventure, he went to the doctor and got measured. And they found out just how flat he was, didn't they? When you get a chance, color your flat Larry. Remember to be creative and color him however you like. And then you can take him with you on your adventures. You could put him in a Ziploc bag. I do that with mine so that he doesn't get wet if I do something wet and adventurous like swimming at the pool. Watch on our Facebook page and see what my flat Larry does. And then you can post pictures about what your flat Larry does. I can't wait to hear from you and see what kind of fun you and your flat Larry are having this summer. Bye friends, see you soon.